Mr. Skyler Caleb. So, uh, did a few uh, interesting things since I saw you guys last, since I went up. Um, went to Wicked, that play. You guys see anybody? anybody? No. no, yeah, a couple. The, the whole Wizard of Oz thing. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. And I uh, went to SeaWorld. That was interesting. Um, a couple of things I couldn't keep my eyes off of at both these things. Have you ever been like in a play and you just start watching the conductor for a while? <laughs> and like he, you know, he's, he's doing his thing, you know, and you're just like, he really thinks like he's doing something, right? He thinks he's, <laughs> he thinks he's helping, right? He does. It's, it's kind of cute. <laughs> I mean, like this play, it's like this well-oiled machine, right? And uh, I just, I wonder, like, is there ever this point where maybe I don't know, the pianist is playing, you know, and he's he's reading the music and he's hearing the play and the rehearsals and everything, and he's just like, oh shit, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? What is, I'm in a theater, what is it? He looks up, the conductor's like... Mm. <laughs> he's like, oh, I guess! Yes, okay, I'm playing a song, I'm a musician, <laughs> yes! And it's wicked, right? Is it, wait, what song? What song are we playing? Is it the one I'm reading? Want to hear it? Was it... Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. That song, God. Yes, that would have been brutal! Glad we didn't fire the conductor yet. <laughs> I'm about to play chopsticks. And at, uh, at SeaWorld, the thing I couldn't take my eyes off of, actually kind of the inverse of this, is the amazing talent of sea lions. Yeah. Have you guys seen the sea lion and otter show? It's crazy. They've got animals doing comedy. And they're brilliant. <laughs> they're, uh, they're brilliant. They have, they, they've got the, like the little sailor hats on and stuff, and they're like, you know, they're stealing fish from the trainer, and then the trainer looks over and they're like, they're like, they're, their timing is like impeccable. The whole time I was watching, I was just like, I really hope they've been studying comedy longer than me. <laughs> they are brilliant. I came up to the uh, to the trainer afterwards. I was like, dude, can I tell you? Sea lions have some good stuff. He was like, I know, but they came up the whole routine. I heard about my own job here. I, uh, and then I went home and I like Googled one of the sea lions, Clyde or something. He's got a MySpace account. Like, a, like, a, like a comedy, like a MySpace comedy. Have you seen these? I like I clicked on videos. You know, I clicked on videos. He's got like he's got like footage of him like at the Sea World show doing the show. Oh my god! Fucking sea lions got a, a demo reel. <laughs> It, you know, it, it's kind of weird though, it made me start thinking, because like, I've never really known exactly what I think about the whole like creation and evolution debate, but this kind of made me swing towards creation, because I think, if you think about like, evolutionary, how in the whole Darwinian, you know, natural selection process did it become needed for a sea lion to develop comedic timing? <laughs> I, just, I don't get it, it's, it seems to me like, it must be a lot more likely that maybe like, you know, God was going over his blueprints one day, and making new animals, you know, and one of his angels comes in, you know, maybe had a couple drinks or whatever, and he's like, can I be honest with you, God? Most of these animals lately, kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> like that wildebeest yesterday, what was that wildebeest? I'm not even going to get a start on the name, but uh, looks like he just kind of threw a bunch of leftover animal parts in there. <laughs> it's like a, like a hot dog, right? It's just lips and assholes, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Like, so what do so what you say? What do you got? A sea lion. Okay, okay. So that's like a, it's like a lion that's in the sea, right? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little pretentious, but uh, <laughs> well, let's make him funny, right? Let's make him like why not? Let's make him hilarious, like like he could get a sitcom like that. You know? <laughs> make him like blubbery, like the fat guy on those sitcoms, you know, with a hot wife, a cheetah, or something. We'll hook him up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll be blubbery, but he'll be like you know agile and shit. God's like, mm, maybe. he's like, well, we can keep the sea lion name. That'll make it more ridiculous, right? <laughs> and, and we'll give him like whiskers, and uh, and we talk. So just like bark, like, uh, hoo, 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 like a dog, you know? <laughs> just like a dog, throw a dog's voice in there, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just start throwing animals together. You like the wildebeest thing, right? <laughs> Roll them together, see what happens. And he can have like flippers, you know. But when he's on land, he can just walk like this, like. <laughs> <laughs> God was like, okay, yeah, that'd be pretty freaking funny. <laughs> Angel's like, yeah, that's how it's done. <laughs> God's like, wait, I didn't get, what was the last part? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, of course, that's 